If you have just installed a fresh copy of Debian 13 and are unsure about what to do next, this video will show you things you should do after installing Debian 13. In this video, I will show you 10 things you should do after installing Debian 13. Now, these steps include customizing the system and user interface, installing useful apps or packages, boosting performance, and enhancing your overall desktop experience. The best part is you can follow most of these post-installation steps for any version of Debian Linux. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. During the installation of Debian 13, you may be prompted to set a root password. If you have assigned one, you won't be able to use the sudo command with a regular user account for installing packages. So if you try using sudo with your newly created user, you will likely encounter an error message. Now let's fix that issue. In my case, ksgrail is the default user. I will add this user to the sudo words list to grant administrative privileges. To do so, type su to switch to the root user and enter the root password when prompted. Then open the sudo words file using vsudo and scroll down to the section where you can see the entry for the root user. Now right below it, add this line. Now replace this part with your username. Once done, save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus O, then press Enter and exit by pressing Ctrl plus X. The contrib and non-free repositories contain a list of useful packages that you won't find in the Debian's default repos. For instance, you can get NVIDIA drivers and many other valuable tools from these repositories. To add the contrib and non-free repos, first back up your default source list by running this command. Next, open the source list file. If you see any default repos, comment out with hashtag at the beginning. Now paste these lines I have added in the description. Once done, save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus O, hit enter. Then close the editor with Ctrl plus X. Finally, update the source list by typing this command. It's always a good idea to take a snapshot of your Debian 13 right after installing. Now for this, we will use Timeshift. Now first, install Timeshift by running this command. Once installed, open Timeshift. It's a backup tool that lets you create snapshots of your entire system, but this backup will help you restore your system if something goes wrong in the future, saving you from having to reinstall Debian operating system. When setting up, make sure to include both the root system and your home directory. After that, click on Create to take a snapshot of your current system state. Now you will always have a backup ready to restore whenever your system starts behaving abnormally. If your computer has NVIDIA graphics card, it's recommended to install proprietary drivers for better performance. Now first, install the NVIDIA Detection Package. Next, run this tool to check with NVIDIA GPU you have. This will show details about your graphics and recommend the exact driver which you need. Before installing the driver, set up the required dependencies by running this command.
finally install the nvidia drivers by typing this command Once installed, reboot your system. And that's it. Now open terminal and run this command to check the driver information. The GNOME Tweaks and the Extension Manager gives you full control over customizing your GNOME desktop. Now install GNOME Tweaks and Extension Manager by running this command. Then open the Tweaks application to start customizing the user interface. Now using it, you can change system fonts, increase the font scaling factor for better visibility, especially useful on large monitors or laptops. Also, you can enable or disable the maximize and minimize window buttons. Then enable center new windows, so apps always open in the middle of the screen. Now use the extensions manager to install GNOME extensions that enhance your desktop experience. I recommend adding these extensions to give your GNOME desktop a more modern and futuristic feel. Now let's customize the dash to dock settings for a better desktop experience. You can move the dock panel to the bottom or to the right side of the screen. There are also options to auto hide the dock, increase the dock size, adjust icon size, and tweak several other preferences to match your workflow. If you have installed Debian with GNOME Desktop on a laptop, you should also adjust the touchpad settings. Now go to touchpad and mouse settings. Select your touchpad and configure it as needed. Here you can change the pointer speed. Enable tap to click. So you can select items without pressing the touchpad buttons and adjust the scrolling method and direction. Next, under the Appearance section, you can switch between light and dark modes and choose your preferred accent colors to personalize the look of your system. If you want maximum performance of your computer, go to the Power section and switch the profile to High Performance whenever you need that extra boost. On large displays, sometimes the cursor or text may appear too small. To fix this, go to Accessibility, Seeing, Enable Large Text to scale up all the text in the UI. You can also adjust the cursor size from the same menu. Now Flatpak is a distribution independent app store that lets you run GUI applications in isolated environment. It's a perfect alternative to the Snap Store. You can install Flatpak by running this command. Then add the FlatHub repository to access thousands of GUI applications, including Android Studio. VS Code, Chrome, and many more. Once it's installed, reboot your computer. 
Then run this command to install the GNOME Software plugin for Flatpak integration. Now open GNOME Software app and search for any app and install it. Now let's also install some essential packages and fonts by running this command. Now this will install commonly used utilities, development tools, media support and a wide range of professional fonts. Firefox is the default browser in Debian 13. Now let's go ahead and customize it. Open Settings under the Startup section. Enable the option to open previous windows and tabs to open previous windows and tabs. In the tab section, enable the following two options. It's also recommended to check the option to play DRM controlled content for better media compatibility. You can further customize Firefox by using extensions and themes to enhance both its appearance and functionality. If you have switched to Debian 13 from Windows and looking for a way to run some Windows apps, you can use Bottles. Bottles introduce a new way to handle Windows binaries using runner environments. You can choose between a gaming and software environment based on the type of software you want to run. Advanced users can choose the custom environment to configure the bottle on their own. I have run specific Windows apps like IDM and Notepad++. Now keep in mind that you should not expect to run every Windows app. It's just an experimental build and works with a very few Windows apps. Debian 13 comes with a plain terminal out of the box. Let's make it more interesting by using Starship. Now first of all, go to this website, download and install a nerd font. I recommend using the Fira code nerd font. Once it's downloaded, extract the zip file and install your preferred font. I chose the bold variant, just double click and install it. Once it's done, open the terminal and paste this command. Since Debian's terminal uses the bash shell by default, we need to create init script and add it to the shell configuration file. Go ahead and run this command, then scroll all the way to the bottom of the file and add this line. Then save the changes and reopen the terminal. Next, click on the settings icon, go to the preferences, set the custom font to Nord font and increase the font size by 20 points. And that's it, you are good to go. Now you will see the shell prompt looks much better. 
To learn more about configuring Starship, check out the link in the description down below. And that's pretty much it. These are the recommended top 10 things you should do after installing Debian 13. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. If you have any questions or queries, do post them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. This is been KSK Ryo. I will see you in the next one.